I don't think I would have ever imagined that we'd have come this far with the technology integration into side-by-sides. I mean, it's crazy what 10 years has done, how much car-like electronics have found their way into a side-by-side -side that you can walk into a dealership and buy. I mean, what's 10 years from now gonna look like? For right now, we won't worry about the future because what we have in front of us is so feature-rich and full of new technology. But I will give you an overview of the specs and then we'll jump into the hands-on experience. 168 horsepower, 925 cc dual overhead cam twin. Dry weight, 1,500 pounds, 64 inches wide, 13.5 inch ground clearance, 16 inch travel in the front, 18 inch travel in the rear. Maxxis Bighorn 29 inch tires on 14 inch rims. Power steering, seven inch touchscreen GPS display. This is the Razor Dynamics. It doesn't look all that dissimilar from a Razor Turbo until you get nosy or strap yourself in. The Dynamics truly is the pinnacle of high-tech integration in the off-road world. It features a 7-inch full-color interactive glove-friendly touchscreen that gives you engine vitals and stats, much like a modern-day pickup truck. It also reveals the rear-facing built-in camera for keeping an eye on your buds or backing yourself into the campsite or trailer like a pro. Good deal, but the true integration is where the Dynamics name comes into play. On all four corners behind the wheels, you're gonna find 2.5 inch body Fox Podium live valve shocks with bottom out control, or quite simply put, the most techie shocks that I have ever seen on a side-by-side. -side. Live valve means what we typically see as a user adjustable clicker is now hooked up to the Razor's computer. It can adjust itself hundreds of times per second per wheel on the fly. It's able to actually live view the input each tire is receiving, link that with a throttle and speed sensor, along with reading the current position of the power steering, and account for what you're doing, and more uniquely, what you're going to be doing in certain situations. Let's say you cruise into the face of a jump with the throttle on. Dynamics recognizes the compression of the shocks, followed by the full dropout, and knows that you're in the air and are gonna need more compression for the landing. Dynamics, it's pretty dynamic. It'll even sense your cornering through the steering wheel position and a body position sensor. The outside of the vehicle front and rear will become stiffer instantly as compared to the inside shocks, which keep the body roll minimized and increase the confidence of the driver, as well as keeping contact of the tires to the ground. Even something as simple as tapping the brakes will cause the front two shocks to stiffen in anticipation of eliminating front end dive. This means more available wheel travel for potential objects you would have hit the brakes for and are inevitably going to contact. All the tech talk is nice, but does it really work as well as advertised? And are you gonna notice all that big of a difference besides the base retail price as compared to a Razor Turbo? Even if I turned off the visualization screen that shows me in live time what each shock is doing, I'd still know there's something way different with the suspension of the dynamics. And it's not the kind of realization you get when something has way too much compression on the clickers or is sprung too stiff. It's the realization that three seconds ago, I hit a big jump, then landed, went through small whoops, hit a berm really fast, all the while the suspension seemed to perform, well, perfectly at each task. Something no matter the multi-rate spring setup or wide range adjustability are able to offer you across such a wide spectrum of terrain and vehicle motion. When you put the 168 horsepower turbo to the test and really stretch the connecting rods, you realize that dynamics only adds to the confidence-inspiring driving experience of the Razor. The drivability of the Razor product line is already impressive. However, high speeds, loose ground, and the occasional unforeseen rut, hole, or uneven surface can cause you to really saw at the steering wheel. When dynamics kicks in, which it does at a rate of multi-hundreds of times per second, you start to notice a very linear and seamless driving experience. The corners become flatter, the whoops smoother, counter steering is easier, and your riding experience is just all around better. Now there are times where technology integration drives me crazy because it takes away an interaction that's instinctual. But in the case of the Razor Dynamics with Fox Podium live valve shocks, yep, that's just not the case. This thing is pretty dang incredible. From the Ride Command app to built-in GPS, 
standard quarter doors and LED lighting, the Dynamics isn't just on-the-fly adaptive suspension. It's a whole lot more and a whole lot of industry-first innovations. Thanks for watching this Dirt Track segment. Make sure you hit the subscribe button where you can watch pretty much anything related to ATV and side-by-sides.